Sex has somewhat different meanings if you're in the chase, single and looking to bond from when you're married already. And there's when the problem tends to be not enough sex. So what is the meaning of sex for people? I know it means different things to everybody. And it seems like sex in the media today is portrayed much differently than it used to be. In the work that I do with couples, sometimes um, to one person, sex means validation. It means, well, if he or she is turned on to me, then I'm okay, then I'm lovable. And to another person, it means the sharing of love. Well, if, you know, if there's one person that says, I want to share love, and another person that says, I want to get validated, they're going to miss each other. We have this idea that sex should always be love, because for women, as you're talking about, I love, I don't want to just have sex. And I remember in my own marriage where my wife, I'd say, honey, let's have sex. And she said, well, I don't want to have sex. I want to make love. And I said, you know, making love is good, but I want to have sex. Don't you believe that I love you? And I do love her, but sometimes I just want to have sex. And that's coming from Mars. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus, when she wants to make love. So I'm okay if she says I want to make love, and she's now okay when I say let's have sex. Is it fair to say that some people have sex because they want to be connected, and some people want to be connected in order to have sex? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, and some people, some people get connected through sex, and some people have to feel connected first before they want to have sex. And some people disconnect because of sex, which is rampant now in our society, that is, if it takes a long time for the woman to say yes, in, during that interim, she's getting to know him, he's getting to know her, there's bonding that's happened. If they go straight to the peak of the mountain, they fall off the mountain very quickly and the relationship is kind of done. Being single, it's very confusing. Many women are under the impression that they have to have sex by the third date in order for the guy to have to continue seeing them in order to keep interest, which is just absolutely not true. In fact, many men will drop off after the third date if you don't sleep with them at that point because they're only sexually interested and they never wanted more in the first place. And what I tell my clients is figure out what sex meant to you the last time you went to bed with somebody and presume it's gonna be the same way again. So if you went to sex with, to bed with somebody and you just said, oh, wow, you know, I, this is just going to be casual, but you have a history of falling in love with everyone you sleep with. It's not going to be just casual for you. And you need to wait it out and delay that instant gratification because we want sex too. The sexiest, most passionate moments come when there's no opportunity for sex, unrequited love. Or think of all those romantic poets who didn't get a chance to just hop under the covers and instead had long, years of longing and intensity. So passion builds, sex builds with inability to have sex. It gives people a chance also to get to know each other because if you're having sex right away, basically your primitive brain takes over and you're thinking about, okay, maybe we can do it this way, maybe we can do it in the road, maybe we can whatever, <laughs> but the part of our brain that creates relationships is not active when your instincts are all that's driving you. Talking with thousands of women, you know, I say, how often do you have sex with? How quickly do you have? Well, right away, because they feel this pressure that if you don't have sex, he's going to go off to some other, other woman and then he likes you less and he does go off to some other woman. So what do you do in this thing? This is to help women gain confidence at any age, is that if you want to create space for a relationship to grow before you have sex, bond first emotionally and mentally, so then when you have sex, and then when, for him particularly after sex, that energy's gone for a while, there's something left. Sex has somewhat different meanings if you're in the chase, single and looking to bond from when you're married already and there's when the problem tends to be not enough sex. A sexless marriage is a fragile marriage. Just like sex helps build the bonding, hopefully, no sex, fragile bonding. So we covered so much here about what does sex mean to different people, to men, to women, to women that want to be in a relationship, to men that want to have sex and want to have meaning in their sexual lives. and. It makes so much sense that we all want the same thing.